if I had a choice of uh, where would I spend my time if it was the only place I was able to visit and the only place I could ever photograph in again, it, it would be the Falklands um, without any doubt whatsoever. And so I wanted to try and pull together a body of work that reflected that, uh, represented how I feel about the, the wildlife of the islands. And also because I felt no one had really done that before. <laughs> the images uh, spread back over a, a, a approximately a 10 year period. So, you know, and they, and they quietly accumulated and it was probably about halfway through that process that I decided that actually there might be a little project of some sort in here. I was very keen to do with the book was to make sure that there were a number of images dotted all the way through it so that for the guys in the islands or the folks in the islands when they look at the picture they'll be able to say oh, I know where that was taken you know it's all very well doing nice super intense close-ups of all the wildlife as stunning as it is but actually at times I wanted to step back make sure that the scene was a bigger picture uh, and therefore actually you could say oh yeah I recognize those cliffs on New Island uh, as the perfect example. 90% is is what I call a coffee table type book of pictures and with hopefully some interesting stories and anecdotes and, and bits and pieces in, in copy terms to go with them uh, but then that last section as you refer to is a little bit of that behind the lens where did I go and what you might expect to find when you're there and what can you do to try and make the most out of those places and the islands generally as far as your own photography is concerned and i'll never forget the uh, the very first albatross colony that specifically that i went to it was actually the one on west point um and uh made a way across from uh, from where you land on the boat across to the other side of the island um, and I, I, I remember just sitting down by the first bird on the first nest that I came to and I just put my bag down and it was 45 minutes or so before I could even think about getting my camera out and taking a photograph. I was just so in awe of where I was and what was directly in front of me, this incredible bird that I dreamt about, imagined watched read about for 30 odd years was just sitting on its nest taking absolutely no interest or bother or concern about me sitting 10 yards or so away and uh, it just simply blew me away i've been able to see all four corners of the world and work in some unbelievable places some truly empty wild places too but i would genuinely put and still say even against all those places that i've been to as I said earlier, if there's only one place I could spend the rest of my life photographing, it would be in the Falklands because I, I will never get bored there.